I look like a goon. So I did get a hydrafacial today, so my skin's all clean, even though it looks like shit. How are you? I'm Caitlin McGregor. I'm a traveling artist. I do makeup applications, hairstyles. I'm a nail technician, henna tattoo artist, and a lash extension artist. I do all the hair and makeup for Boudoir by Alexa. Yes. Yeah. Hey guys, my name is Alexa Herman Sherman, and I am the owner and sole photographer here at Boudoir by Alexa. I am a nationally published and award winning boudoir photographer located right here in downtown Bay City. So, we're gonna let Caitlin glam me up. Sarah's not here yet, so if she gets here in time, then she can get some shots of her doing whatever she needs to do to this, because you guys. Your nails look super good. Thanks. Yeah, I just got my nails done and my toes. Right but I didn't shave my armpits, and but my legs are fine because Sarah buffed them earlier, so my legs are good. So we just can't be doing any like hey. poses. <laughs> Hi. I shaved my I shaved my armpits like it was like a day ago, but literally my armpit hair within like I could shave it in the morning. By nighttime, there's already stubble. I'm telling you, I am a hairy. I'm the same way. I hate it. How about when you shave it, you get goosebumps? Yes. What the fuck? My mom does not believe me. I talked to her about that. I'm like, yeah, when you get goosebumps, your leg hair goes. She's like, no, it doesn't. And I was like, who are you? <laughs> my sister waxed my mustache yesterday, too. So that yeah, was, was good. They were out. Cute. We can just sit here and play with it all day. <laughs> okay, so this is outfit number one. Okay, this is a bathing suit that I got from Target. I know that's super random, but first off, you can even tell that it's not a, a real bodysuit. Second of all, this is my husband's favorite bathing suit, so I thought it would be nice to wear it for the photo shoot. So this is the pre-shoot pep talk that I give everybody. They're basically, they're not rules per se, but they're more guidelines that I use throughout the session um, just to make sure that you're looking your best. So first things first, you'll always be breathing through your mouth. And I don't mean like, push your face, like, look, <laughs> not like this. Take a big deep breath in through your nose. Just let your lips fall open. Now you're gonna feel like your lips are gonna be like, your mouth is just gonna be hanging wide <laughs> open. I promise it's not. What that does is it relaxes all your facial features so that when you're looking at me in the camera, you're not looking like, like you want to claw my eyes out. So just by breathing through your mouth, it really creates a really sexy open mouth. Um, <laughs> the whole time, you'll be really arching your back as much as you can. Chest is going to be out, shoulders back, really arching your back for me. So my goal is to always accentuate the curves that you have, not hide you. Yeah. I'm not gonna let you hide behind anything today. So, um. <laughs> That's what I feel like I'm doing. So the next thing is thighs, knees, and feet always together. And we do this because if your legs are apart like this, people's eyes like to go to negative space. And I don't want the focus of any of the images to be your crotch area. So, Thank you. <laughs> by putting thighs, knees, and feet together, it eliminates this negative space here um, and keeps the lines of your body flowing right where I want them to be. There'll be a couple of exceptions to this rule, which I'll explain as we get there. Also, you're always going to be pointing your toes. And when I mean pointing your toes, I mean like a ballerina one away from you like this. Sometimes I tell people to point their toes away like this. So always be pointing your toes. 
So I'm always gonna get into the poses to show you what you'll be doing first um, and explain to you exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Um, I'm not just gonna throw you up there and be like, all right, be sexy for me. Right. Because I know if somebody were to do that to me, I would be like, what the fuck? I was gonna talk with that because I always laugh. So yeah. I feel like it has to be like one, two, three. Sexy and then I Yeah, it's, it's hard. No, definitely. That's like the fear 90% of my clients have. And I will pose you from your facial expression all the way down to your toes. So as long as you can follow directions, you're going to be just fine with your practice. So with that being said, I always pose your body first and then I will pose your head and your face to this. Because I like to get into position and then do what I want with your face. So some of these poses are going to be really hard to hold. Um, if you have to relax out of a pose, just go ahead and do that and then I can recompose you and keep shooting. I do that because a lot of these poses, um, I do shoot from multiple angles, so you'll be in them for a little while. If anything hurts, call me. I don't want anything to hurt. Um, but you will be sore tomorrow. People call this food bar yoga. Oh, do you have any questions for me? Are you excited? Yeah, I'm very nervous. Good. I'm sitting down right now. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fine. It will be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be good. You're good. The very first pose I'm going to have you do, you will be laying diagonally across the bed like this. But what I want you to do is I want you to roll up onto your left side like this. Your legs are going to be straight, but what I want you to do is bring your right foot up onto your calf here and then drop this top knee down on the bed like this. Always be pointing your toes. Then I'm going to have you take your left hand here and weave it up into the middle of your hair. So when I tell you to put your hands in your hair, you'll always use your fingers to like weave it in the middle of your hair because if you just do this, you right. look really bored. And I don't <laughs> want you to look bored. So weave your fingers in like this. Right hand, I know since you're tummy conscious, what you can do is grab a big handful of blanket here, pull it back by your tummy like this. I like that. <laughs> And then what I want you to do is relax your hand up front here and grab the blanket. I don't want your hand just sitting on the bed like this because again, it just looks bored and you're just sitting here doing nothing. Mm -hmm. So grab onto the blanket like this. I want you to bring your chin way up like this. This is going to feel really weird. You're going to do this a few times throughout your session. Um, but I promise it looks good. Sometimes I just have to fix the camera with the So again, you'll be bringing through your mouth. Eyes are going to be closed. Again, I really want you to push that booty up just like this because that's the difference between looking nice and curvy and being really flat and frumpy like this. Mm -hmm. Okay? Go ahead and get into it. Oh, there's God. something you forget. I will help you. Okay. Roll up onto your left side. Yep. This. Grab your up knee down. Yep. Put your foot back up onto your leg. Beautiful. Yep. Mm-hmm. That hand up in your hair, weave it through. And then I'm going to have you bring this hand up here because what that does is it pulls this elbow down here because if it was, for example, if you did this and continue to hold right here, you'd be a straight line from your shoulder down to your bottom knee image. And by pulling your hand up here like this, grab it. Brings your elbow this way. So when I'm taking the image up this way, I'm getting this really beautiful curve down your back, around your butt, and then down your leg. So you're looking really long and you're looking really curvy. And my goal is to always accentuate the curves that you have, not hide any sort of midsection or anything like that. But in this pose, we're still hiding the midsection right. while still giving you your really long beautiful curve. Let's close. Did baby breath in through your mouth? Oh, Alright, that's gonna be me. Because <laughs> I can't be like too fast. Okay. <laughs> I literally don't think I can do it. You can do it, I promise. Head is very sideways. I want it straight up and down. Good. Take your fingers 
Was like gorgeous. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, it does. It feels weird because what? your mouth is like wide open, but you look, you look like sex on a stick. <laughs> sex on a stick. Sex on a stick. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't talk. You're so <laughs> nervous. Like yeah. what, girl? Um, so damn. Wow. It is not fair to the rest of the world how hot you look. <laughs> I feel like Sickening. I do this all the time. You guys are like really hyping me up here. I'm the heaviest I've ever been, so I've been super nervous about this, you know, but that's cool. <laughs> so good. What you're going to do is, this is going to be an exception to the thighs and feet roll. So what you're going to do is, I want you, you're going to be sitting back on your legs like this, but what I want you to do is move the heels to the outside, so when you sit back, you're going to, you're going to be cradling your butt. What happens if your legs are straight like this, you're going to sit directly on your heels, and it's going to put all your weight on your ankles, and then it'll hurt. So, by moving your heels out like this, and cradling your butt, you'll be a lot more If this still hurts, do whatever you need to do. This is an exception to the thighs and feet roll. Don't worry, I don't take any crop tops. It's not how I roll. <laughs> so for this one, your right hand is going to be down on the bed just like this. Just above this knee here. Left hand can be on your thigh like this. You're going to be leaning forward a little bit, but really popping that booty back. Chin is going to be down to this shoulder here. Do not attach it to the shoulder like this. But just turn your head this way and down. Eyes are going to be closed, breathing through your mouth, and make sure you're really sticking out that. Okay. Like well, literally, so girl, I'm going to take pictures of that. I know, but like my gut too. I just feel like, it's like so wait, this hand here. Yep. Put your thighs apart a little bit. Fix my bang. And then this hand there, here. Side, side, yep. Bring this hand back a little bit. Stand up. <laughs> and then this elbow just a smidge. I know it's going to be hard to hold. <laughs> this is a workout. <laughs> yeah, I told you it's sweet. <laughs> yes, queen. Oh my God. This is probably like the most difficult. Yeah, but it's okay. But you look hot. Yeah. yeah. So what am I doing? Chin bed. Right knee is going to come up a little bit like this. Now, really push your chest up as much as you can here. This is going to feel really weird, but I promise it looks fucking hot. So, really push that chest up as much as you can. With your hands, grab the ends of your bodysuit down here. Pull up like this. And I want your wrists. I want your wrists towards your body. Okay. Because if your wrists are not attached, you need like a punch. So. Wrist just attached to your body. Take a grab and pull up. 
So then drop your head back like this. Squeeze into your mouth. Eyes are gonna be closed. <laughs> Don't forget to point your hips. Right? You got it. I'm just, I'm not even concerned about you getting it. I'm concerned about flashing. I like it, so. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it's a workout. You look amazing yeah. right now. <laughs> I love that. Okay, pull up. So no, you don't want to. You go pull up. Drop your head back. Breathe through your mouth. Don't forget to breathe. It ain't that serious. I'm gonna pull this down. Yeah, she does. Alright, go ahead and relax a little bit. Oh wow! This will be black and you'll have the perfect highlights coming across your face, yeah. chest, and up that side of your leg. Wow. That's crazy. But from that side, you're fully lit. Oh my gosh! Mm -hmm. Wow! Yep. Yeah. Still syrup shot. And then, boom. Oh my gosh. Curves for days. That's crazy. It's so weird to see your face. It is. Yeah. It's very. <laughs> very. Is, I'm going to have you take your left hand under, under your bust here. Grab onto your side, but just kind of relax here. Left hand on your neck, and then drop the elbow down onto your chest, because we don't want no chicken wings. <laughs> so drop it here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to really arch your back. This is going to feel really stupid and ridiculous, but I promise will do it. I want you to attach your butt to the wall like this. And what I want you to do is I want you to pop your left foot up like this. And you can push this left knee over just a little bit. If you ever go on Pinterest, if you do Pinterest you are, you'll see super cheesy like cross ankles, stuff like that. That's actually really cute. Because just like eyes will go to negative space in between arms and legs, people's eyes will fix it at intersections. Whether it's cross arms, cross feet like this, and I don't want people's eyes to look and stay down here. Right. That's not where I want to focus the image to be. I want to focus the image to be here. <laughs> so, but I still want those beautiful curves in your legs. So by popping your leg up and just pushing your knee across like this, Still getting the curve of your knee, mm -hmm. but no intersections for people's eyes to go So, this really, really arch your back. I want light from this window to hit this wall from behind your back here. Head is going to be turned, working over here. Eyes are going to be closed, right into your mouth. Okay, over. Mm -hmm. This here. Perfect. Oh, is this on your neck? Yeah, perfect. But I want your shoulders to come off the wall. Deep forward. The only thing I want to touch to the wall is your okay. okay. Relax your shoulders. Still. Okay. Eyes closed. Straight through your mouth. Feet are going to be staggered. Now this is going to be an exception to the thighs and some feet will do, but only a little bit. Thighs and some feet are still going to be together, but one leg is going to be dropped just a little bit. What happens is if I take a picture from the side and your legs are together, it looks like you have a unit leg coming down your body. Yeah. And you are indeed a two-legged creature, so I always want to have the dimension in the images by okay, showing you the points. And by doing this, no matter what angle I'm taking the picture from, so, you're going to be dropping your head back here too. Chin is going to be pushed up 
towards the ceiling, through your mouth, eyes closed. Okay? Got it! Both right. can be up, one's just gonna be good. Okay. <laughs> I'm just cupping them. And then like this. Yep. Shoulders, head are gonna be over on the couch. <laughs> Tuck your elbows. Hands are gonna just be right on top of your boobs. There. I really wanna get a good ring boob shot. <laughs> I'm ruining everything. Oh my god, yes! Hey! Oh, it looks oh, hot. bind it and cover it. That's awesome. That's so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. So those albums do come with 20 images. Um, you are able to upgrade the amount of images in there. Um, and then this is something else that I offer. It's called the Diamond Block. Ooh. Now it's a one inch thick acrylic with an image mounted on the back. It's a really beautiful piece that will sit right on a nightstand or a dresser. Um, glass? Is that like in a glass frame? Right? It's like, actually metal. It's wow. Made, it's made out of aluminum. Oh my gosh, that's mm -hmm. so cool. Yeah. So since it's made out of aluminum, it's incredibly lightweight. Oh wow. You think it'd be a lot heavier than it is? Wow, yeah. That's fancy. Yeah. I like that. And metal 
is preferable over like a canvas because yeah. canvas it yellows really fast. Yeah. And real canvas is incredibly expensive. Yeah. Um, if you were to go to like Walmart or Walgreens, you would get like a plastic canvas. Right. It's not real canvas. So um, this is a really good alternative and this will last a lot longer. Yeah, it's a canvas you as well. About 50% of my clients get this. I never even knew that existed. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. And people that. that are like, oh, I don't really want a diamond piece of my ass on the wall because a grandma or a kids come in or whatnot. That's why that diamond block is a really good alternative. Yeah. Because it's still a beautiful piece, but oh. it's more just. I feel like I get that for my glam room. Yes. yes. That'd be sweet. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't want a wall for themselves. Oh, uh, like you. Are. <laughs> So I wanted to give you guys an update, my overall thoughts on the experience with Alexa. Um, first off, let me say that this was probably one of the most challenging vlogs that I have done. Um, if I'm being brutally honest, I'm not very happy with my body right now. I am the heaviest that I've ever been. Um, I recognize that my body does not look picture perfect. I have stretch marks, I have scarring, I have cellulite, I have all of those things and the reason why I wanted to collaborate with Alexa and do this vlog is one, to kind of force myself to learn how to be more comfortable in the skin that I'm in and two, kind of share with you guys that you don't have to be a size 3 to do a boudoir shoot. You don't have to be super tiny um, to feel beautiful. I mean, tiny, large, in the middle, whatever, everyone's beautiful. Everyone deserves to feel confident in the skin that they're in. And I really do feel that Alexa did the most amazing job at hiding the areas that are my problem areas and really accentuating what I love about my body and making me feel beautiful. The final images were like amazing. I can't even believe my makeup was on point. It looked great, my hair looked great. She really did a great job capturing um, different angles that made my waist look smaller, that accentuated the curves that I have, and it was definitely an incredible experience. So you don't have to get boudoir either just for a partner. You can do it for yourself, which is really what I did it for. I did it for myself. I am just tired of feeling bad in my skin. and. Yes, I have goals to become healthier. Um, yes, I do want to lose weight. I still want to lose weight. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm going to be honest. That there, I still definitely want to lose weight and get more healthy. But I feel like after going through this experience, it allowed me to give myself a little more grace and recognize that even though I am bigger than I used to be, um, I'm still beautiful and I still deserve to feel beautiful and so do you. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know this is different from anything that I've ever done, um, but I just really wanted to showcase Alexa's talent and just kind of, again, share with you guys the whole experience of you, you can celebrate the body that you're in today. You don't have to wait till you lose weight to do it. You guys are beautiful no matter what. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, feel free to go follow Alexa on her Facebook page and Instagram, Boudoir by Alexa. She also has a VIP group that you can request to be in and she shares a lot of behind the scenes um, videos and pictures and whatnot and she shares a ton of deals as well. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment below, let me know what your favorite part of the vlog was and I will see you guys soon. Bye.